Today's Tips to Your Mailbag question comes to us from Boston, Massachusetts. Robert, I just finished building an electric guitar and I want to do a crackle type finish on it. Can you offer advice on how this is done? Thanks for your videos, Dan in Boston. Dan, I must admit, this is not a finish that I apply often in my own shop on my own guitars. However, recently I was in Sao Paulo, Brazil, where I visited the Tajima Guitar Factory, and they have a very popular model that uses this type of finish. I spoke with Marcio Zaganin. He has his own line of electric guitars that he builds in Brazil. He's also product development specialist at the factory. Come along, I'll let you listen in on what we talked about. Okay, I'm here in São Bernardo do Campo, uh, Brazil, with uh, Marcio Zaganin. He's product development specialist here at the Tajima Guitar Factory. One of the models of their guitars that they do is a red painted guitar that has the crackle type finish. It's a very interesting process and I'll show you how to do it. First of all, let's talk to Marcio and let him explain. Now the problem is I'm going to have to interview Marcio in Portuguese. So, Marcio, muito prazer. Muito prazer. Obrigado por estar com a gente. Prazer, Bom, meu. Como que é essa pintura? É, na verdade, ela começou é um erro de pintura. A gente faz uma base branca e o vermelho craquelado, como vocês vão ver, é, na verdade é um erro de catalisação, que hoje em dia não é mais um erro, né? agora é proposital. É, ela é mais é usada para cada verniz, usa-se um catalisador específico. Nesse caso, a gente usa um catalisador diferente, que acelera mais a secagem. Okay. Então, ela, na hora que a gente aplica, ela já automaticamente ela começa a retrair e forma uns cracks. Tá. Deixa eu traduzir isso para o ouvinte aí. Então, o Marcio está me dizendo que, na verdade, esse processo começou como um erro. Alguém adicionou muito mais catalyst ao processo e ele começou a secar muito rapidamente. E quando ele faz isso, ele shrinks e ele cracks. And if you, you, you paint a base color, in this case, white, blue, red, whatever, and then you go over the top with the color that you want, you put the wrong color or too much catalyst in there, and this is what happens. Yes. <laughs> Entendeu? Entendi. Beleza. Vamos lá na estufa. Vamos ver isso? Vamos lá. All right. So now we're going to go over to the paint booth area, and we're going to see how this is done. Marcio, muito obrigado. Muito Como obrigado. Prazer. Thank you. So Dan, as you can see, it's not a very difficult finish to execute. However, you definitely want to do some sample boards before it's time to do this on your guitar. So happy finishing. Mm -hmm.